And after that delightful travel montage, here we are on the ground in Chicago. I'm ready to feel the Illinois. <laughs> Sufi and Steven references are really hot with the kids. What sort of vehicle is this? Cool. All right. I'm in the jump seat. Cool. <sighs> now, if we're lucky, we get to McCormick Place in enough time to go pick up our badges before 6 p.m. Well, it's 10 to 5, so I feel like we'll be okay. I hope so. The sign in the airport said it takes 45 minutes to get downtown by public transit train. Yeah. So I have to assume the taxi is faster. <laughs> what kind of vehicle are we inside? I've never I've even heard of the make of this vehicle, the yeah. MVA. I feel like this is coach built, which I'm for this purpose. It's so it's so tall like a black cab. Mm. Okay. Okay. Up, update. Hi. We got to the hotel. Uh, it's this building. It's the Marriott. Cool. Have not checked in. Haven't had time. Because we have 12 minutes? 11 minutes Ten now? Minutes. 10 minutes now to get into the convention center and get our badges if we want to do that tonight, which we'll need to do if we want to set up our booth tonight, which we would like to do. I wasn't going to make any Windy City jokes, but woof. <laughs> it's cold. This it is, is not an unearned nickname. We found Canada geese. A little, little taste of home. Uh, we think this is the entrance. Thought that was stairs. Nope, it's just a fountain that's off. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, this has to be it. Uh, five minutes left. I, I think I think we can make it. did it. <laughs> Six o'clock on the dot. <laughs> he was like, oh no, we're closed. And we, we looked, we're, we were just like, uh, and he's like, oh, op open till six. And Beach was like, it is three minutes, to three minutes before six, buddy. And he's like, well, we've been open all day. It's like our plane just landed. And then he helped us and was very, very helpful. So that's good. Absolutely. That is a big ass looking expo hall. Mm -hmm. Shit. This is a comic con, isn't it? Oh no! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm queasy from the car right over because I was riding backwards and now I'm getting vertigo. Look, it's it's the sea. No, it isn't. It's a lake. You're isn't insane, it? man. That's freshwater. <laughs> That's Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. It just sort of goes on forever, though. Definitely cannot see the other side. But farther below Lake Ontario. And nowhere near as much water as Lake Superior. <laughs> she said she'd give us the highest room she could, which I said was not necessary, but appreciated, I guess. Oh, this is very nice. I hope this hotels. <laughs> like, I hope this works. Whoa. So occasionally, I like to treat myself. And one of my favorite snacks is Chicago mix, which people from British Columbia will know is half cheesy popcorn, half caramel popcorn, or in the case of the handful I grabbed, all cheesy popcorn. Get back there. Perfect. Half and half. But here in Chicago, it's just the mix. So are the special bags for us or for them? I don't understand. Yeah. It's 9.04 p.m. according to that sign right there. And we are, we've had dinner. We went for dumplings. We got real full up on them dumps. It was delicious. And now we're heading back to the convention center to see if we can set up tonight. The expo floor may be closed, but if we can get in there and at least confirm that our stuff is there, that would be good. This is very cold and we walk to and from dinner. But now we can walk all the way back via sky bridges. A very kind security person let me onto the floor. 
to confirm that our stuff actually arrived at our booth. Uh, okay. Good. Awesome. We will set this up in the morning, I suppose. This is deeply weird being on the floor at this point. I've been on show floors before while things have been setting up, but not like this. God, everything smells like plastic off-gassing and packaging has come out. God. So now we're all back in the room uh, doing stuff, getting panelists' prompts ready. Ian's prepping dub fight. Kathleen's doing some writing. I don't know what Beach is doing, and I don't care to ask. Then tomorrow, C2E2, a convention we have never experienced before, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Oh, it's still just me, because it's a reflection. Well. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I didn't realize you were doing a bit. Now I'm here. <laughs> so it's a little after 8 a.m. And, and a little above zero. And a little above zero. And we're on our way. Wait, zero Fahrenheit or Celsius? Celsius. 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 Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. We are on our way over to the booth because we can get in now and set it up before everyone else gets in at 10. I think it's going to take us about an hour to set up. That's fine. And everything should be there. And uh, yeah, that I'm. Leaves us an hour to brace. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ran into some fans in the elevator. I ran into someone who knew me and then realized they didn't know me yeah. waiting for the elevator. It was great. Yeah. You have one of those faces. Yeah. It's very, you know, people look at this and like, this is very generic. <laughs> Two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Ian. All right, let's get up onto the floor. Wow, this is red as hell. Yeah, this wasn't here last night. No, none of this carpet was down last night. That was a lot of work between then and now. <laughs> Here's us. Ta-da. Yeah, literally my only concern is that there's no signage. The, uh, Yet, one? there will be. So, uh, method to how I do this generally is grab the extra small of every shirt we got because then it'll have like the least amount of space to take up. Um, and we've got an eight foot table this time, which is rad, so uh, we got lots of room to just kind of spread our shirts out, spread our stuff out, and uh, we're quarter after nine. That's pretty good. We got to get over to sound check so they can check us at like 10 a.m. It's it's not too tight anymore. I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, so it's 10:30. The show floor has been open for half an hour, and we have to run around and do some errands. Our card reader was sent separately, and it is apparently supposed to be at the hotel under my name now. Yeah. And we need a sign. And the FedEx, I couldn't email it to the FedEx, so I have to take it to them on a, on a um, USB stick. This is all very exciting for you, but we got to run around and do that. It's been a bit of a hectic morning, but it's okay. This is big. This is a big place. It is a big place. So we popped into the FedEx, and they had had gotten the file apparently. So that's closed that narrative arc of this this vlog. So they're printing that, we'll be able to pick it back up, probably on our way back, yeah. from going to get our card reader and making some change. It's so flat, but densely populated. It's just unlike landscape that I'm used to. All right, we have a sign now. It's only 20 after one, but we have that now. So that's good. I'm sneezing a lot. No, I'm not actually, I just finished sneezing a lot. I'm healthy now. We got a cash box. People have been doing commerce all day. We got our card reader. Like, it's like, finally, we've we're, we've arrived, we're ready to do things properly. And we've already been doing them anyway. I was a cash box for two hours. It's late in the two o'clock hour, and we have to be at our panel for the panelists at three fifteen. So we're gonna go get lunch because we haven't eaten a lot today, and I think we'll be a lot funnier if we're not super hungry. We're gonna see what's up with the convention center food court. It's called the plate room, and it's this way. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. This this doesn't immediately look terrible. Burgers. Oh, I see.
All right, we acquired honestly better convention burgers than I had expected we would find. They weren't bad. And now we have to get over there. The booth continues to continue, and it goes well, but we've seen something here that we have not seen at any other con we've ever been to, which is people wandering around the show floor drinking mugs of beer. Straight up mugs. This changes the convention game completely. So at 7 p.m., the show floor closed, which meant that with absolutely no announcements, two-thirds of the lights turned off. It's kind of like a bar in that respect. The music stops, the lights go off, or... I don't know, is it turning into a bar now? Um, yeah, it works for the company. I mean, there was already alcohol here, so no, I think it's it's been a bar, and now we have to leave. It's just so weird. It, they did an announcement afterwards where they were like, Hey, everybody, it's uh, closed now, so please leave. I'm tired. How? What did I do all day? We did one panel technically. With a lot of questions. Yeah, it was a filthy, filthy panelist. It was definitely the bluest thing I think we've done in a while. I, I, we, we got an oy vey from the crowd, and it was what, deserved. What, what was the oy vey? I can't remember what it was in reference to, but it was literally a person saying, oy vey. Oh dear. We've made a brief pause in the lobby there for a viewer to hand off some beers from Wisconsin that apparently you can't buy outside of Wisconsin. We've discussed our food options and decided that this evening we're going to order pizza to the hotel room and not do anything. I feel like the best way to get into King Gizzard is to listen to one of their 13 albums yeah. that they have out. Uh, soon to be 14. Listen to one of those albums. Find one you enjoy that one, and by the time you come back to the other ones, then, uh, then you're already trying to like them, so you will. So, about Garfield's come. The wait to get on an elevator was... I've actually I've actually never encountered that much of a wait yeah. at a hotel. And there's only four cars. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, there was five, I thought. Yeah. It's a big hotel, well, it's, but there's... There's five cars, but there was a four-car wait. That's ah, what I meant. Yes, yeah. that is true. From when, from when we got there, yeah. I think the secret deck is to wait at the lower lobby, because by the time the elevator picked up people on the bottom floor, like the very bottom floor, and got up to two where we were, it was full. Once you've actually done the elevators at MAGFest, then you will truly know hell. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, okay. yeah. My, my turn, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more going right, on there. Open it up, it's got yeah. flaps or something. When it comes to cheese, we only sense the highest point, Wisconsin cheese. Oh my god. Everything comes from Wisconsin. All right, so it's got these side flaps, it's got a front flap. It comes, oh, it comes wrapped like Vern's. Mm. Oh my god. It's a lot of meat with a protective layer, just like we had on our shirts. Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 wow, that's transparent. Yeah, that is. The <laughs> size of this lad. That passes the Absolute window. unit. They gave us little packages of, of crushed red pepper. I didn't know it. And, in case it wasn't cheesy enough, some more Parmesan. Holy shit. Yeah. Also, forks and knives for four people. So who's going to take the king? this fuck off huge pizza piece? Yeah, they, well, that's, there's no... And look at the size difference between <laughs> this piece and this piece. How does that happen? I actually, no, that kind of purpose. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is thick. <sighs> keep going, keep going. I can't. Yeah, you'll drop it. Yeah, be cautious. This particular place came highly recommended by people who didn't pronounce it properly. I th I thought they said it was Luminati, as in the Illuminati. But no, it's Lou Malnatis. But everyone just says Luminatis. I believe in you, be Wow, look at that rivulet of... Do some slicey? No? Okay. That's moist. All that cheese. Holy crap. It's very cheesy. You know how you put cheese down on a pizza where you try to cover as much as you can? They did the same thing with the ground beef. This is not as ridiculous as people make it out to be. Wow. This is awesome. But I think I prefer thin crust pizza. <laughs>
filled with pizza and sleep. It's Saturday morning. Myself and Ian are heading over to the show floor right now. Kathleen and Beach are a little bit behind us. And apparently, we were discussing this last night, you know, apparently Saturday is the big day. And that's generally true of most conventions. But we find that Saturdays and Fridays are sort of comparable to us because Saturdays are just busy because there's more people at the show. But Fridays is where people seek us out because they're like, all right, I'm going to get there. I'm going to go to the Loading Ready Run booth and get the thing I want to get, and then I can do the other stuff. So we tend to find our Fridays are still pretty, pretty hectic. But today we have the card reader ready from the beginning of the day, so let's see how this goes. Thank goodness we have speaker badges because the, the floor is opened and we need to get to our booth. But there's just so many people. There's way more people already than there were here this time yesterday. I'm afraid. Yeah. It's very first thing in the morning at the booth and we, we are joined by... Lotus Designs. Hi. Hi. I'm Greg. This is Adrian. Adrian. And our son, who is actually currently passed out as an Evie. They've made some stuff for Desert Bus in the past, which is terrific. Um, but they've brought a selection of Wisconsin beers from, what was it? New, New Glarus Brewing, because they only brew within Wisconsin. So I have a question. Yes. Does Illinois does not make anything? Because everyone who's brought us food and beer so far over the, over the course of yesterday has been like, hey, here's this thing from Wisconsin. We do it better. <laughs> so... That would be the reason why. Though, so if you get a chance, go over to Intelligentsia for coffee. Yeah, you guys have had Intelligentsia. I know they you have. They shipped it to you. Yep. Um, otherwise, if you can get a Polish, a Polish sausage in here, it's going to be just about as good as it gets. Also, the Greg cosplay is amazing. What the flower also? <laughs> Stupid points set as they're trying to kill my cat. <laughs> the Horner Corner Racing School, and it's actually the Le Mans track outlined. Oh, Wow. A, oh, I had a quote car experience. from your quote, of course. <laughs> oh, perfect. And that, then this is... we were very excited that you got the police vest. Oh, yeah. So, so we made it the mock. Your own police patch. That's so great. I love that it's the secret orbiting underground bunker defense force. <laughs> Oh, my Instagram is Blue Lotus Designs Cosplay, uh, all underscored uh, on Instagram. So Blue underscore Lotus underscore Designs underscore Cosplay. Yeah. Great. Note for later. That's for when I'm editing. Yes. I have what I'm sure are the standard questions. How many cards? Literally thousands. Literally thousands. But I've lost count. I don't know anymore. It's a lot of cards. Are they most? No, they're not even mostly land. Lightning that was an accident. Oh. <laughs> Well, what? if you have the pile of cards that you're supposed to not use and the pile of cards to use and you mingle them, it, oh no, well, then you get a bunch of cards that... I kind of like having a lightning bolt at the tip of your sword. If you just pretend you're from Ravnica, then SPQR still works. We got more food and drinks from not Illinois, but not Wisconsin this time. Where's this from? St. Louis. St. Louis. What the heck is a gooey butter cake? <laughs> Pasteurized milk and cream and enriched flour and then others. It's just butter and sugar and apparently it's going to go inside me. Did you ever I don't, I don't want to get that shirt for Matt Griffiths. I think he would identify with it. I think he'd be like, yeah. Hi, Hi. internet. I did bring you guys some chips nice. and some cookies. <laughs> oh, um, from Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. They're very good. I got these. These are lovely. They're little biscuits, <laughs> some packs to crack. Oh, wonderful. And your 2019 Road to WrestleMania pack, is. as oh, is tradition. Good. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the, the 2019 Road to WrestleMania pack featuring two people who do not have matches on the card yet. And the one thing that everybody visiting Chicago should have, some Garrett's popcorn. Oh. This is a Chicago tradition. It is cheese and caramel corn mixed together, and it is the original. It is a staple yeah, of Chicago. Wow. Hands off! I was say oh. not to share on it. No, there's it a, there's a to share, share and no, a not. To okay. The other side. <laughs> oh, and I did want to get you guys something that did say, you know, that was Chicago themed. So I kind of just went for something simple and got you a mug with the Chicago flag. Oh, 
great. So. Awesome. All right, it's been a busy day of commerce, and now we are going to the late night dub fight. Except it's 4:45, the late afternoon dub fight, the mid afternoon nap fight. Nap time dub fight. Woo! It's pretty easy to tell what the hot anime is based on the cosplay. And that anime is My Hero Academia. People are just academia nuts about this show. Thanks, Grim. You're welcome. <laughs> you made it. Ian, what's going on? Uh, we're here at the back of the seat, no, not the Cards Against Humanity Theater here at C2E2, getting ready for the late Nark Dub Fart. Uh, yeah, we've had uh, one person drop out, but thankfully our beautiful hosts have managed to find numerous replacements, and it's going to be a great show. I cannot wait to get on stage. From near and far, young and old people of every shape, ability, and gender, welcome to the main event here in the Cards Against Against Humanity Theater at C2E2 in Chicago, Illinois. It's the late night dub fight! We did the thing! Yay! Yeah! Late night dub fight continues to be one of the best things you can watch at any con. That was really fun. That was really, really good. All, the, all of our guests were excellent. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was terrific. So now. Because the show floor doesn't close until 7, we still have like an hour on the show floor tonight. So we're going to go do that. Yeah. yeah. The end of Saturday, they've given us the ugly lights. And so we must exit the show floor. It's been a great day met lots of people that we've never met before. You know, to, to our mind, it's always sort of like, well, this isn't that far from PAX East, but everyone's in different situations. People who can get to C2E2 in Chicago can't necessarily get to a PAX, and so it's, it's nice. I know there's lots of you out there who wish that we would come to a convention that was closer to you, and unfortunately, we just, we can't go everywhere, but, you ask your local cons, hey, we'd like to see Loading Ready Run there, then maybe there's an opportunity for them to help us get there financially, because that's how we're here. We're here because we got financial help getting here, and that's what made it viable. But it's been great. It's been really great to uh, be here and meet tons of new people we haven't met, and uh, it's been awesome. Sometimes fans like to give us things. Like uh, alcohol beverages, which are generally not allowed inside of a convention. However, we have a fan who has provided us with a solution. And what I would like to suggest is the true solution for any con-based adult beverages being gifted to us. The coat check. That's right, kids. Put your beer in the coat check, give us the tickets, and then we'll go pick it up when we're ready. To be fair, there were other people who just brought some inside because they didn't seem to care at security. But, scoff laws! <laughs> I appreciate it either way. Oh, there it is. I see. Oh, they have an entire ballroom just for the coat check. Well, that must be useful for the cosplayers. There are a lot of cosplays now that include, that are just a basically a spandex suit that you know, shows off what you got. But why do they feel the need to print specular highlights on the suit? Why not just let light do its own magic? Not, not everyone can fill out spandex like, like the real Superman. Or Samus, in most cases. Yeah, no, that's, that's 12 bottles. Yeah. We have to, we have to leave at some point. We, look, Ian and I have been trying. Oh, to really put a dent in all the beer we've been given. Great, great. I, I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to discount your contrib contributions to our fans' generous gifts, but I, I haven't even begun to try. Okay. We've been drinking some. Yeah. Ian has not yet apparently taken the weights off. Forgive me, Graham. I need to go all out this once. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 